Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 6. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. The Idaho Republicans appear to be gaining another seat in the state legislature. District 26, which represents Wood River Valley down to Jerome, the Democrats were projected to win all three state house seats after election night, but a miscommunication between the Jerome County Elections Office and the Secretary of State suggests a Republican won House Seat B. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline is in Jerome today to explain what went wrong. The Jerome County Elections Director tells me early voting ballots were not counted on election night for the Secretary of State's website. Now, in a purple county like this one, that narrowed the lead for some Democrats and flipped one chair toward the Republicans. The Idaho Republicans celebrated a strong election night. The GOP swept all constitutional offices, but failed to gain any ground at the State House. I think we were expecting a different result, particularly in District 26, because of the changes that were made there. New district lines combined the left-leaning Wood River Valley with a conservative Jerome County. Preliminary results showed the Democrats swept all three seats. That surprised House Majority Caucus Leader Megan Blanksma. We thought that perhaps that was going to lean more Republican, and we just didn't end up doing that, and we're in the process of trying to figure out what happened there. Jerome County Elections Director Cy Lutens says his office spotted an error the morning after. For whatever reason, the, the information we sent to them got some small portion of that information got lost in translation between my computer and their program. More than 700 early voting ballots were not counted toward the Secretary of State's website, totaling roughly 5% of the district's voter turnout just enough to make a difference. It did change one race in the legislation or the legislature uh, district 26. Where the Democrats thought they swept the newly drawn purple district, Republican Jack Nelson now leads the race for House seat B by 80 votes. I guess if there's a if there's a lesson in this is preliminary results, they're preliminary. The result would break an election night stalemate and add to the Republican majority. But Nelson's focus is on the people outside of the state house. I'm not real a really big fan of identity politics. Uh, all the all the conflict and the fighting and everything are about really theoretical things. And what matters to our communities is things that affect them. It's a spot where both candidates agree to focus on the people of District 26 and to accept the results as they finish. We'll wait for those official results to come out next week and take a good hard look at those. And I suspect we'll ask for a recount, but you know, I have to believe and trust in the process. It speaks well to the integrity of things when they find mistakes, which inevitably are gonna happen. And they vigorously, they don't cover it up, they dive right in and they fix it. So uh, this one I like better I like the fix a little better right now because I'm ahead by 80 votes, but I also trusted the process uh, initially. The Jerome County clerk tells me these election results should be finalized next Monday afternoon, and if the Democrats want to, they are within their rights to ask for a recount. Reporting from Jerome County, Andrew Bartline, Idaho's News Channel 7.